A co-op session allows multiple users to join an online VR session together, either through the same network or from different locations. One can participate in a co-op session either in desktop mode or in VR mode. All participating devices must run on the same version of XREasy, for example version 2024.02. All devices must be connected to the internet in order to have access to the R3DT cloud and have the identical XVR file stored on the device. To host a co-op session, open the co-op menu. Click on Host and either use the predefined username or change it. The R3DT cloud is standard if no on-premise server is booked for company internal sessions. Reuse either the former session ID or refresh to get a new one. Click Start to host your co-op session and load a VR model into the session. There are two ways to join a co-op session. First, if the devices are connected to the same network either through LAN or Wi-Fi and are allowed to communicate with each other, a notification will pop up as soon as a VR session has been started. If you choose to join, the XVR file will be transferred automatically from the host device to joiners. The second way to join a co-op session is through the co-op session menu. The host's XVR file needs to be available on your device. Open the co-op menu and click join. You can use or change your username. Type the session ID and click join. Participants who join with VR headsets are displayed as avatars. Participants who join on a desktop are displayed as cameras. Different participants can use different functions of the software, depending on their role in a co-op session. The host is the person who starts the co-op session. They have initial access to all functions, including the work in VR mode, if they are participating with a VR headset. The host determines which user has authorization for the work in VR mode and can revoke control any time. They are the only participant who can end a co-op session for all others. Work in VR can be transferred to others. A user can request work in VR mode and the host can deny or grant access. Requests are automatically declined if a user is currently working in VR. Only one user in the co-op session can work in VR with all functions at a time. The functions are visible in the left-hand menu. Graspable made objects are the exception. They can be grasped without work in VR mode. All participants that join a co-op session are first assigned viewer mode. In this mode, they can teleport and use the measurement tool, for example. They must request work in VR mode from the host to have access to further tools.